were on the night shift. Charlie Moore, you're on the night shift too. What are you doing up this time in the morning? Trying to do. <laughs> it's before, yeah. we, before I ask you about that, I'm just going to have a word with Matthew. Matthew, can you spare us a moment? Yeah. What are you doing up this time in the morning? Riding out and enjoying what I do. You enjoy it, do you? Yeah, I do, yeah, very much. Well, I mean, God, this me. You could never have got me out of bed when I was your age this time. <laughs> Well, dedication, I suppose. Dedication to horses, is it? Yeah. And uh, how are you doing? I mean, you're a jockey. Are you a junior jockey or...? No, I just ride out at the moment. I right. hope to be in the future. Oh, so you hope to be a jockey? Yeah, hope to be. Well, you're hoping Mr Moore will, uh, will give you a Ryan? Yeah. Yeah, very good. To. Right, we'll talk to him. Carry yes. on with your work. Good work. How many horses you got here, Charlie? About 20, yeah. Oh, sorry, I don't know whether we heard you say that or not. About 20? Yeah. And why are you having to take them out this early in the morning? Well, this is the worst time of the year for us, as a matter of, you know, like the, the short uh, days and, you know, if we don't get out early and get away to the races, you can't uh, train the animals, you see. No, you're not taking them all out this morning, are you? Which, one, which ones are you taking out this morning? Everything will go out, but those that are racing uh, tomorrow yeah. are, um, you know, just go out for a, a short what we call a nose blow to clear the cobwebs out before they go racing tomorrow. <laughs> a nose blow. So what does that mean? What? Well, you know, just to make sure that they're okay before we declare them to run. You right. See, we, by ten o'clock this morning, we have to declare them to run. Right. Uh, and we want to make sure, and we've got to do it early so that we can check them again before we declare. Right. <laughs> Absolutely. So who have you got working out here, and who's going to be taking the the three horses that are out for the nose blows? Is well, that'll be my son Gary. Right. Also my jockey he is. Uh, there'll be Carl, another jockey, and um, Claire and um, Matthew. And Matthew. Let's go and talk to Claire, and, shall we? And, Where's and she? the rest of the staff will start at half past six, you see. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Who's that cleaning buckets? That's my good wife. Good morning. Good morning. Nice morning. <laughs> this is... He makes you do the best jobs, does he? Yeah, I get all the best That's jobs. That's terrible, <laughs> isn't it? It's yes. scandalous, uh, really. Yes, no. <laughs> <laughs> do you enjoy it? Yes, I do. You're Believe just obsessed by horses, are you? Well, that's right. It's just and that racing. We're, we're a family and uh, we all help each other. Well, quite right, too. <laughs> Let's go and see if we can find Claire. So what's she doing at the moment? Just saddling up? Claire is uh, getting her bed ready like for the horse when he comes back and also tacking up ready to ride out directly my son calls. Oh, you know? dear. That, did we frighten yeah. that horse? No, it'd be all right. So uh, these horses, do they mind being woken up this time of the morning? No, they're looking at the door ready for their feed. Right, what time would they get up in the morning if well, the alarm they, clock hadn't gone off? <laughs> well, they, 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 they're, they're always up around about five to half past, you know. Really? Hmm. You know. Do they go to bed early? What time do they go to sleep? Well, we, we usually leave them at six o'clock at night and then either my son or myself check around at ten o'clock to make sure they're all comfortable and haven't got colic and things like that, you know. Here we are. It's nearly dawn and they're loading up the horses to go. Are you ready, Claire? Yeah. Claire, these horses are pretty big things, aren't they? And uh, um, they bite people and kick people, don't they? Some of them. Most of them have got pretty nice temperaments. Have they? I mean, I've, I did try and learn horse riding one time, and I mean, I didn't do too badly, but I, I found that really you just have to kick them too hard and you have to be really kind of cross with them before they do what you tell them to. Is that right? Um, Is that just a skill you kind of get used to over the years? Yeah, I suppose it is. Some, some horses will do it for you, some horses you really have to make them work. Yeah. How's this one? He's lovely. He's good, uh, good natured, is he? Yeah, he's very nice natured. And is he fast? Yes, <laughs> he's strong. <laughs> <laughs> and that's something else too. I mean, you're going pretty fast and you're pretty high up. Don't you get scared? Um, if they were getting too strong for you there, yes, you would get pretty scared. But yeah. And you have to pull, pull him back and say, oh, come on now, don't stop messing around. Yes, sometimes you do, yeah. We're going to get him loaded up into the man at the top here. Yep. Does it suit you, this lifestyle, getting up this early? Oh, definitely. I couldn't do anything else. You're not? No. Well, your horses are all loaded up, Charlie. Where, where it, are yeah. you taking off to? We're off to, uh, up to the gallops now. Right. To give them a blowout, ready for their the, racing tomorrow. And where's Link, the race tomorrow? At Lingfield Park. Well, best yeah. of luck to you. Thank okay, you mate. Nice to talk to you. Yeah. Cheerio. Yeah. Bye bye.